Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to model a cat in Maya. Okay, so we are going to use a reference image and from the reference image uh, we will learn how to create a model like this. So you can see that uh, we have the basic proportions there and the geometry is very low. Alright, so it's a good idea to get the proportions right with a low poly geometry and then we can then start adding at details for the eyes and the mouth and uh, the paws as you can see there are no paws right now so first thing what you need is uh, a side view and a front view uh, of your character so you can see here that this character is a little off uh, the top of the head matches the top of the head the ear matches the ear but the nose is not matching in the front and rear view even if you look at the tail the tail is not matching the front and the rear view however this gives us a basic proportions of how the cat is going to be from the side if you want a chubby cat or a skinny cat uh, so we are going to use this uh, image as a reference and go from there all right so as you can see that uh, I have brought in uh, one image and then also placed it uh, in the side view okay so uh, we will see how uh, this can be done in Maya. So what I'll do is I'll do a new scene, save this one, and I will create a plane first. All right, and then I'm going to assign a new material, Lambert, for example, and name this cat reference plane. All right, and then I'll click on this and bring in the file that I want to apply, which is a cat. And I'll hit the fix key to see the cat and then we need this image to be rotated in a couple of axes so one of these and one of these and then I'll go to channel box and make sure that this is 90 and this is 90 okay uh, all right so now uh, the image is coached so we need to scale it and I was trying to visually map it to the actual image, how wide this is, uh, and then I thought 2.5 worked well for me. So I'm going to use that. It may be different for you. I'm going to move this up, and you can see that 0.5 puts it on top of the plane. Uh, and then I will move it back quite back so that I can then work on the character and look on this side and this image will not bother me. Alright, uh, so what we will do is we will name this cat front plane and I'll shift duplicate it, move it here or rotate it in this direction, make it zero, move it back here and then this will be cat side plane all right and then i can then select both of these and create a new layer and name this cat reference okay and then i can then freeze them so i can look at them but not able to select it okay so if you go to the front view okay this is the front view so we will model the cat in the front view here i'll create a plane and rotate it 90 degrees okay and then again I will assign a material to this plane so assign new material Lambert and I will name this cat and use a brown color any color I mean it doesn't matter what you want to do and then I will add some transparency to it so you can see through it now I'll go to channel box and the polyplane. Uh, I don't need any horizontal subdivision. Okay, so I'll just say one. Or maybe, yeah, that is fine. Let us work with that. And then I'm going to scale this so that it starts from the nose and ends at the butt. So something like this, perhaps more. All right. 
So this works well and then I can also scale this up and move it up here. All right, so we can use this as a base and then go to vertex mode and we will start creating the profile for the cat. All right, so all these move down, move down. You can see that I'm only moving in one axis, uh, really it's not really necessary, but now what I want is, uh, the important thing is I need to know where I'm going to extrude the legs from. So these, these two planes is what I'll use to extrude. So I'll place one here and one here. Then I'll also need a place for the tail. So the tail can come from here, all right? So I will place one at the beginning of the tail and the other one at the end of the tail. Okay, so maybe the tail ends here and then the legs will come out here. So these are the important things that you should look for. So same way we need uh, for the front leg. So this one will be the leg and then we need like, we have to be similar. So we have one middle one here. So I'll bring this one middle here. And then this becomes the other side of the leg. Okay, and then this will become the, let us put this as a neck here. Okay, and then this neck goes here. Okay, so maybe this would be the neck here. So you got to make clear understanding of what goes where all right and then this can be the face here until here for example okay so now what we need to do is uh, add a few more lines so mesh, mesh tool and insert edge loop so i'll put maybe one edge loop here and then I'll, I might need one more here. And then I'll need one here. And then maybe one more here. And then we can then start. I can go to vertex mode. And then place those points where we need it. Okay, you need to spread these out. We don't want these to be so close. Maybe this can go here, this can go here. Then this will be for the head. Again, we need one for the ear start of the year, end of the year. Okay, so this can really move here in the middle. So got to spread out. Okay, try to be even. Okay, we can then go to plane, edge mode, and then you can extrude this edge out one here and then scale it up and then I'll need one more for the nose for example. Okay and then try to match it to the outline. This is the mouth. Okay, so, so we can extrude the ear here, we can extrude the tail, we can extrude our feet. All right, so this looks good. Now uh, the next step is to give it thickness. 
So I'll go to let us save our file. So we'll go to file save in and I will name this cat tutorial. Alright, and then uh, this is exactly in the center of the plane. So now this is it is the time to look at the side view and understand where our object is. Okay, you can see that this is where the object is. So what I will do is because the object is exactly in the center, I will unhide this and I will move the plane so the image is exactly in the center also. Okay, so this is our cat and then uh, what we need to do is we need to move this out here. Uh, until the end or maybe we can go till the neck then we can extrude these out okay and then we will select the edge so we'll go to edge mode and double click on the edge and we will extrude it out so it will be hollow from that that is important okay and then we will go as far as middle of this okay now what we need is a line in the middle here okay uh, what I will do is uh, I will also move I, I think I need more over here so let us start with here and then I will go to Mesh tools, insert edge loop, and then we will insert an edge loop here. Okay, and then this will be more to the right of the character. All right, so from here. So when we extrude the legs, uh, we still have a gap between the legs. If we don't create this, then there will be no gap in the legs. So what we need to do now is go to face and select this and this. Right. and then in the side view again we can start extruding the leg so the leg point comes here first this is the first point Let's scale it in here and then we have a second joint here okay, we can scale it then the third joint is here okay so that becomes the leg and what we will do is let me do the other one also select this and this and then shift select extrude this is the first joint scale it and i am only scaling it in one axis so remember that scale this you can even rotate it Okay, now we need to extrude the tail. So I'll select this one here and then shift select this. Okay, and then when you extrude the tail, it will create this polygon. So we don't need it. Delete. And maybe we will create the entire tail and delete it later. So now this one will come out like this, and this will go close. Uh, and then we'll go to face mode, select it, and extrude it one more time here. Rotate it. And let's scale it. So we need to get the right curve. And then we can extrude it further. One here, one here, one here. And now we can rotate it here. 
one here, last one here. Then we can again update it. Okay, and then we don't need the middle ones, so we go to face and then set this because we will mirror this, then we need the tail. To be hollow. Okay, so in the top view now, what we will do is we'll select the tail, these parts, okay. Okay, that is good. And then we will make it narrow. Okay, because then it will be mirrored and then you will get that right thickness. So if you want, you can narrow this a little bit. That will happen later. Alright, so once this is done, uh, what we need to do is, we will go to object mode and I will stop the video here and then we will continue the rest in the next class. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.